Ooh, Abby Club Invite. Before a club meeting can be scheduled, the club runner will first message to ask if you're ready. Respond to their message and the club will happen on the next night the club members are free. Hiya, Haunter. All the other emo kids have time to meet. What about you? I can meet you outside your room on the next night everyone's available. Yes, I'm ready. Stop by at night when we're all free. And I do have all of the required ingredients that Magic wanted me to grab. Took me a bit, but I actually found all of them, so... Pretty happy about that. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. You can also catch me on Twitch at loverofladies69. See Hunter, you're so much more than a weapon. Thank you, Nico. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, that would be fun to see. Okay, speaking of Ileana, do you know where she is? I actually have... No, not, not you, Nico. I actually have some stuff that I want to give her. Oh. What's up, Robbie? Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? Robbie Reyes approaches you with a battered tome in his hands. I found this dusty thing in the library. Considerations of conflict with the restless dead? Is this any good? Hmm. So I have one of two responses. Of course, when I was a child, caretaker read it to me every night. We would all benefit from sharing its knowledge. Or... It's familiar, but I don't recall the name. Perhaps if I read it, I could refresh my memory. I'll take that because of the Hunter ability. Thanks, Hunter. You're welcome. Not bad. <gasps> Ooh, you guys. <clears throat> my my base here. Let me act casually. Hunter, have you seen Blade around? Yeah, I just said hi to him earlier. I've got some questions about vampires that I was hoping Blade could answer. I have noticed you are very curious about Blade. He's an interesting guy. Plus, we're both half human, half something else. We have common ground there. I thought we had what common, but whatever. Mm. You know what? We would not get far in this fight without him. He certainly caught my attention. He what? He seems phased. I could take him on a mission in the Greater Magellanic Cloud, and he wouldn't bat an eye. Is that in space? Wow, you are really Earthbound, huh? End-of-the-world situations forge strong bonds. A half-vampire, a resurrected hunter, a half-alien. Do not forget the guy whose head routinely catches on fire. The Midnight Suns are one of the more colorful crews I've run with. She said... He caught her eye? What about me, Carol? You know what? I'm not going to be jealous. We're, we're just friends. We're not even an item. We're just friends. So, what do you need? Nothing. Goodbye. Nothing, Carol. See you later. Looking forward to it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. The jealousy is real. She said he caught her eye. I don't know what to do. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, she said it platonically, okay? Purely platonically. I hope so. Because if not, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. That really got me a little bit jealous, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, like, really? He caught your eye? He! He caught your... You know what? Whatever. I gotta focus on finding magic, see where she is. I do have the things that she requested 
question is, where is she located? I could have sworn she was around here somewhere. Magic! Donde esta? Oh, she's right here. Right by the swimming pool. I have something for you. Oh. Here you are. Good. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know where to put this. What? That is Nico's problem now. Okay, that's cool. Yes? Nothing. I'm just. I'm ready for the meeting for tonight, so. I'm pretty ecstatic about it. But, meanwhile, let me train myself. I need to relieve some stress. Stress because a certain someone over here was telling me how someone caught her attention and not me. Like, whatever. Alright, time to train. Who am I training? Choose training partner. Right here. Come on, Blade. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Just remember the moment. There are no rules. Look at that. I'm pretty happy. Pretty Time happy that I got to spar. Is there any way I can upgrade? Ooh. Let me see. New and improved. Oh yeah, this is gonna be sick. I think I we've got something for everyone. Of course we do. See you around. Of course, Blade. And look, look at my cute little doggy. Said anything on fire to you, One of Charlie's comeback abilities has been upgraded. Pet Charlie at least once a day to keep building her bond with the hunter and upgrade the rest of her abilities. I love this. I really do. Now, I'm gonna put off with missions for a bit, because I definitely want to explore this area. I feel like this, this area here has interesting surprises for me to just pop through. I'll be really quick, because I know for a fact... Ooh, hold on, what's this? See? It's good to explore once in a while, because it's been a, a bit since I actually walked through these grounds. The Shady Hill. Wow, interesting. The Shady Hill. Nothing here? Alright, let me see what's next. Because like I said, I feel like I haven't fully explored this area. So I definitely want to... Death? Death stands before the Black Vortex, surrounded by the prized Infinity Stones, tempting us with possibility. This card represents transformation and entering a new phase of one's life. That is so crazy how I got the Death card, knowing that I've been catching up on the show Agatha all along, and last week's episode, we just find out who really was deaf. Very fitting. Domino knows the way in which the wheel will turn, and shows the answer in the playing card she displays. This card represents luck and good fortune, along with the opportunity in the future. Huh. This is my second card that I found. That is so intriguing. What else? Is there anything I can take here? Ooh, what's this? An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. This cord stone is so light it almost floats. Fluffy white and gray whirlses conceal a core of roiling thunderclouds, which emit small bursts of light from time to time. Ooh, I found something! Hell yeah, I'm definitely gonna return this to the altar. Let me see what happens. Uh, where would I put this? Here? Perhaps I should try this somewhere else. 
Okay, so that is not it. What about this? Hmm. This does not work. Where would I put this? I don't get it. Maybe here? The old magic still holds. Wow, amazing. Now we got two. Now we got two. A vessel created by witches to honor the innocent. Victims of the witch trials? Oh no! That's so sad and depressing. I bet I can find something over here. What do you guys think? Because this is really getting interesting, I'm not going to lie. Maybe... Nope, nothing here. Nothing here. What else can I find? I'm just... I'm actually pretty intrigued with this whole area now, I'm not going to lie. Wait, what's over there? Yes, hello. No, not you, Magic. It is one of the elemental rods. Barely a stone at all, this blue-black topaz almost seeps through the fingers when held. It smells strongly of a tide pool, and of held to the ear sounds of the sea. Oh, I found another rod, you guys. This is crazy. Wow, two rods. Who knew? All right, I'm definitely gonna put this in the altar. How, hold on. I forgot where to go again. There you go. Dude, I found more stuff to add to the altar. This is so crazy. All right, so where would I put you? In here? The patterns do not match. So then you must be over here. Only one more to go. Wow. Amazing. One more and we would complete this. Not bad. Alright. So what else can I do here? I'm just curious. Is there anything else I can find? Because I'm actually... I actually want to complete this. Because I definitely want to see what happens once I have everything all together. Ooh. You know what? I'm curious. Let me go down here. Maybe I'll find something. <gasps> Dude, it's a key! Okay. A nice little key so I can open up a box. Not bad. I wonder what box I can open with this. What else? What else can I find or even look in? I went through there already. I'm not interested. Where else can I look? Oh, Agatha. Ugh. R.I.P. R.I.P. You know what? I'm gonna look through here. I see a crack on that door. Am I able to do anything? I see flames. Let me see. Can I open this door? Must not be her purview. Boo! I can't even open that door. Oh well. I have other stuff to explore, so... Well, what's in here? Hold on, let me go through this, this right here. Wow. An abandoned cart. Some wolfsbane. Some more wolfsbane. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab them just in case if we need more in the future. You never know. Hold on, what's up here? Wait, something's over there. Come on. Oh, you guys, there's another one. Wait, let me go down here, though. I know, I'm over the place. I just want to explore and see everything. Anything and everything that gets my eye. 
An unknown grave? I was always drawn to this place as a child. But somehow I had almost forgotten about it. I mean, Hunter, keep in mind, you've been asleep for over 300 years. What is Hand this? Handmade father doll. A doll for my father? I spent extra time on this one? What? I had a dad. This rubble looks loose. So you want me to do this? No, the I can't. Disagrees. Oh no, I hate when I'm not able to do anything. The wooden overlook. Alright, clearly we found new areas to explore. That's cool. A gravestone. Pet Curious. cemetery. Small headstones honoring the Abbey's beloved pets. Now, when you say pet cemetery, is it kind of like the Stephen King pet cemetery? Because I'm not interested. In fact, I'm leaving. That's a mess in itself. I'm good, you know? Let me see if I'm able to open up this door, though. Now my curiosity is definitely peaking. She believes Ooh. Yes! Thank you for the knowledge points. I appreciate it. What is this place? Stone Terrace? Wait, hold on. Okay, nothing here. Wow, there's so many places I can go. What? My old fort. Caretaker was furious when she found I had built this. I wonder what she was really afraid of. Handmade Lilith doll. This doll was for my mother before things changed. I never got the chance to truly know my mother. Only the monster she became. Oh, I am so sorry. Hunter's Journal, June 26, 1710. Sometimes I wake, still caught up in my dreams. I am running, but seemingly going nowhere. The dream seems to go on and on. It is dark and freezing, and I am trying to hide and make myself as small as possible to not be seen or heard. Sometimes there are strange voices screaming from, a, from a far away, and I am on my feet again running. I'm never fast enough. It feels like these dreams are distant memories. Or maybe something yet to come. But when I shake away the sleep, I'm safe and warm. Agatha and Sarah are here. Everything feels okay. Illustrated Mycology recipe book. The ink and watercolor illustrations almost jump off of the page. Interesting. A lot of reading material. And you know what? I like this. I like how I'm able to explore because it gives me more insight as to who the Huntress is. She obviously had a good childhood. I mean, look. She was able to make her own little cute Ford. Even if Caretaker disapproves. Wow. The Standing Stones. There is powerful magic at work here. Maybe that's why she didn't want her to build her fort this close, because of the standing stones. Ooh. Oh, the High Priestess! Jean Grey stands powerfully and summons flames from her palms, holding her stance and waiting for the next move. This card represents instinct and wisdom with a hint of mystery. Huh. Interesting. I love this. Hey, I got some cosmetics. Nice. Wow, the view here is beautiful. And what's this? Arcane cooking for the gifted amateur. Okay. I love cooking books, thank you. Wow, but seriously though, look at the view in here. Beautiful, holy cow. 
sometimes I forget where we are because the view is just so phenomenal. The Windy Oaks. Wow, we're finding so much stuff here. And yet, there's another door. I need to find the next moon seal. Aww, I can't even expect I need it. To find the next moon seal. That's so corny. I'm right here, and I can't even interact with it. Not yet. Uh, wait a minute. Is this the other side? Uh, other side of what, though? Huh. Interesting. I've awakened something else. Look at that. The great seer, known as Endra Moore, is buried here. Much like Nico, her powers came dangerously close to crossing the line. But she was among the most loyal of the Midnight Suns. So it seems to me like Midnight Suns comes from a big line of lineage. Possibly almost as big as the X-Men. Ooh. What's in this here? Is which sign? A glimpse scrawled in bone chalk. It's meaning known only to the witch who wrote it. Should we be scared? Journal of Haram Shaw, December 4th, 1688. The people of Salem line up outside, drooling at the chance to be a part of this congregation. I cannot be more pleased with how many seek out the truth within these walls. With the guidance of Shion and the power within this page, I will set them free. I am the one that has been chosen. And I praise Shinon for granting me this blessing and this power. Yet where there is light, there are those who oppose it. A coven of witches stalks around us, deceiving my flock and sowing the seeds of distrust. They will be stopped. Wow, this little corner, this little corner, man, get out of here with that. All right, nothing to see here. I feel like I've done a lot of exploring for one day. Wait, what's up here? Hold on, my curiosity has caught me once again. What is this? Oh, wow. Yay, okay. Nice. More cosmetic stuff. Handmade caretaker doll. Caretaker never did like the idea of being idolized in doll form. Caretaker hardly spoke of him. But I like to imagine my father was a great hero whose spirit protected these woods. You know what? I want to know who's her dad. Who is this girl's dad? Because I'm curious myself. Oh, Agatha! There's some things I need to Hunter, speak to hello. you about. I see you found another of our mystic landmarks. Mm -hmm. These are the Standing Stones. Your ancestors among the blood used them to converse with the Elder Gods. How does that work? Members of the blood would gather among the stones and enter a sort of meditative trance. Oh, really? They say the gods would hear their thoughts, but the blood never knew for sure who was listening on the other end. Some of the older texts refer to a series of glyphs etched on the stones, but at first glance, they seem to have been scoured clean by time itself. Could they still be revealed somehow? Yeah, are we able you to read, read them? My mind, Hunter. I suspect the glyphs are still here. They just need the right... Words of encouragement, if you catch my meaning. So we need to find out how to 
summon them? Is that it? You know what? I did a lot today. Let me sleep this out. Is it too early to sleep? No, it, it's too early to sleep. Great. Because it's daylight, that's why. Hmm. Very intriguing. Let me see if I'm able to do... Anything else. Like, explore some more. Fascinating. Chest with vitals. A wooden chest with brass hardware containing glass vitals. Okay. That's cool. That is... something. Cluttered table. A desk cluttered with books, some of them older than you. What?! And you are quite old?! Yo! Yo, this game is trying to play me! That is so rude! I'm not gonna lie, that is so crazy. Well, hello there. You know what? What happened, Tony? What do you need? Caretaker isn't big on the idea of hardwiring this place to an arc reactor. As far as I can tell, power here is distributed mostly via cobwebs and ghost farts anyway. Nice. Um, do you want to hang out? I don't know if you actually want to do this, but do you want to bird watch? Just imagine me bird watching with Iron Man for real, though. He's not even into me, this. Why do you name everything after yourself? Well, you seem like a bright person. Why don't you tell me? Uh. I mean, I could assume is because you're, you know, full of yourself, but I want to hear from you. I do not have time to figure it out. You mean you don't have time to think? Mm. Come on, tell me. Come on, Tony. Up, Hunter, <sighs> try back later. <sighs> you that are so corny. Time. Let's do it soon, boss. And you want to hang out with me again? Tony, you suck. Okay, let me get to know Strange. Do you wanna mushroom hunt with me, Strange? I can't believe I'm mushroom hunting with Strange. I'm really fulfilling my community service. Do you find life in the Abbey different than before? Very much so. I've read more since I arrived here than I did in the past five years. You are a sorcerer. I thought you loved books. I don't speak of tomes or grimoires, uh, reading for pleasure, an escape from life's harsh realities and myriad travails. I bet I can guess your preference. Go on. To what genre am I most partial? Um, history would be more like it. History books? And what sort of history? I'll have to guess again. Ancient. You like to read about ancient history. No, I've experienced oh. ancient history myself. Historians tend to downplay the brutality. The question that most intrigues me is, what if so much of reality shifts when you alter certain crucial choices? With effort, I can watch these realities play out. But I find alternate realities far less entertaining than the fictional histories imagined by others. Hmm, Let's good to know. To meet again soon. Of course. Mine was magic, but not in the way you were thinking. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.